going on YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to replace an axe handle. This particular one is for a double-edged axe. A buddy sent me this one to get it repaired. The old handle rotted out, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to knock out pieces of the old handle. I'm going to clean up the edge, and then we'll get to replacing it. Let's get after it. First thing we're going to do is take our axe head, chuck it up in the vise, <coughs> get a punch, just a flat punch, and then we're going to go to knock this part out. If it's struggling to go, go to a bigger hammer. Now that I have all of the old handle knocked out of the head, I'm going to take some of this. It's just an old belt, but it's very abrasive. I'm going to take it and clean out the head to get any trash or debris out of there so we get a, we ensure a good snug fit whenever we put on the new handle. Now that I've got all the old handle knocked out of it and cleaned up in there, I'm going to go ahead and rework the edge with a file to knock out any dings or nicks. And then after the file, I'm going to sharpen it. The reason I'm doing that at this stage is without the handle on it is it's a lot easier to move back and forth in the vise without the handle to get it flipped around and get a good edge on it. So I got the edge the way that I want it with the file. Got it all cleaned up there. Got most of the nicks and dings out of it. Now I'm going to put the finishing touches on it with a stone and then we'll get ready to put the, the new handle on. Got the edge cleaned up the way that I want it and sharpened. I prefer to hand sharpen versus a grinder just because I tend to tear stuff up on the grinder. I can get a better feel for it by hand. Now that we've got the edge on it, we're going to go ahead and put the handle on it. So whenever you're buying a new handle, you can pick them up at hardware stores and feed stores. You want to make sure that it's the right handle for your type of axe. So since we're doing a double edge, this is going to be a straight handle. Um, you know, your camp axes, your single edged axe is going to be have the curve on the end of it or be curved because it's one directional. The other thing you want to make sure is you're getting the right, so, the right shape for the head of the axe. So this one you can see is a little bit more kind of a, the oval with the teardrop on either end or with the tail on either end. And your single edged axe is going to be more of just that teardrop shape. So this will not go on this head or on this handle. See that? But this will. So that's right in there. So the other thing that you're going to need when you get a handle, these handles will either come with a wedge, a wooden wedge attached to them. A lot of them will already have it wrapped on there. If not, if you're buying at a store that just has the handles, they usually have a bag or a box of wedges that you can go and you can pick. So the big thing is you want to make sure that it's going to be the right width when it's seated all the way down. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so this will go in and then we will use a metal wedge. This is the one that came out of it, so I'm going to try and reuse it. That one's just steel. What it does is it helps expand that wood a little bit more. If you don't have that, you can order these that are cylinder wedges and they're a bunch of different sizes. 
So, I don't know if you can see that. Some of your axes will already have those in there. You can use these and you can get just regular steel wedge stock and put it in there. If you got replacement kits, you can buy just these that come with those wedges in them. You just want to make sure it's the right size for your handle. So when you go to set your head on the handle, you want to make sure that the head is rested up against the solid surface. I like to set it on the ground. Uh, if you need to, you can lay it sideways on your bench, put it up against the wall, but you're going to be hitting on it a little bit. So we're just going to take our head, slide it down on the handle, take the mallet, Once you get down to the bottom, it may start rocking, so you have to hold and hit one side to the other. You just work it down until it stops. Now that it's stopped, something like that right there, we're going to take this wedge, and I need to take just, uh, no, it's going to be just fine. Take that wedge and drive it down in there as far as we can. Once it's good and seated, you can wiggle and make sure nothing's going to happen to it. Now, we're going to set it up on the bench. Actually, I may chuck it up in the vise. We're going to cut this, what's left of this wooden wedge off of it. Take your saw. Miter saw works really well. I really like this one for it. And you just want to cut as close to that axe head as you can get. got that wedge and the excess cut off it doesn't really matter you want it as flush as possible it's not going to mess up the function it's just a little bit of an aesthetic so if you got a little bit this is hanging over a little bit you can just take a file or take a little sandpaper to it and clean that top edge so I'm gonna clean that up real quick now that we've gotten that wooden wedge cut off I'm gonna I decided to use one of these cylinder steel wedges instead of this one so this will only spread it out side to side on the sides of the wedge and you have to angle it to get it back into this one. But your cylinder wedges will spread it out in all directions so that's what we're going to use. So you just want to find one that will fit inside the head of the axe and not hit the edges. We're going to set it right there on the center. I'm going to start it with a small hammer and then step up to the bigger hammer to get it set. Got it set down flush. You should be able to see that there. Back. So it's set down flush. If it doesn't want to go all the way, you can get just a flat steel punch like this one and set it there on the top and you can get that guy driven all the way down. Big thing is you just want it sitting flush. So that is how you replace an axe handle for a double edged axe. Single edged axe is going to be the same process. Big thing, you just want to make sure you got the right handle for it. So, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll get some more videos coming your way.